Is there any trope that hasn't been used to split the two of you guys up in the course of the season? I feel like they've used everyone. Amnesia, they used... Uh, um, <laughs> just, and, and they used uh, an extra, all of a sudden he has a girlfriend, mm -hmm. and then you got a, like every trope. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's probably just like maybe like a it's like a Robotech exoskeleton. It's probably the only thing that could probably like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's a that's a trope, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know? it's, one of, it's one of the old. Yeah, jokes. one of those. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think that that's actually been on purpose. It's part of the lesson of these two characters, these two lovebirds. Their journey is that everything tried to rip them apart. They were faced with every challenge possible. And what love is, is that a lot, through every one of those choices, they came back to one another. They always chose each other. They had easier choices to make, one of which in the beginning, when Eleanor was just being rude, was, you know what, get away from me, I'm not responsible for you. But around every corner, they chose each other, and I think that's what the definition of love is. No, I'm going to go. Is there a philosophical expression that you explored in the show that actually changed your philosophy in real life? Yeah. Um. I recognized I'm a moral particularist. Yeah. Mm -hmm rather than just Kantian or utilitarian, because I've always had a, uh, a pendulum swing between those two, because I do believe in the greater good, but it's hard to ignore the right decision in front of me, and moral particularism says you can um, vacillate between the two. Yeah, I think that, well, the thing that I keep going back to is the idea that, you know, the fact that things have an end is what gives it meaning. And I, you know, because I really try to unpack myself with the idea that, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, you, if you, you know, you tell someone a lie, you smack someone in the lips, you know, it's like, give it some time, if you, there's no penalty for it, it will eventually fade, and the fact that it's like, no, it's like, my time here is finite, and, you know, every single thing I do, like, has a consequence that's gonna, that, that will play into my life in some way, and that time is gonna end. You know, and so it's, uh, that's sort of just, like, sort of my brain is very It's kind of fitting of the series, too, because it's ending because it's the right time to end. You're not just milking out, you know, for more seasons. Yeah. It's nice, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's very, um... You were saying bittersweet's not a strong enough word, and I couldn't agree with you more. I'm describing it as the best worst feeling to have, because we're gonna um, we've we have a really fun time together, and it's gonna be really. It's I'm gonna miss working with these people so so much. But I feel so grateful to have been a part of something that wasn't just a fun party for me, because it was. Like I met some of my dearest friends now, but was also a roadmap for how to be a good person. And I hope that when people rewatch the show or watch it for the first time that they'll go, oh my God, look at all these cool lessons about how we're supposed to share Earth. Because being a human is hard, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about hard stuff. I don't want to always be nice to people. I don't even want to always be nice to my kids. They're really <laughs> annoying sometimes. <laughs> but philosophy gives you lessons on why it's important to do that and help people grow around you. And yet we wrap it in a beautiful fart joke. <laughs> like, what could possibly be better? I feel like the luckiest person alive. And I also feel lucky that we're with ethically responsible people who have found a perfect ending to this story and decided to execute it as opposed to go on for 10 more years just because we're getting a paycheck. That's like, what? what that's art, you know? Yeah.